Who will claim the crown of king on the high jump of this diamond week? Well, Gianmarco came down to having one jump left in this diamond week after Javon Harrison was pretty much running his high jump competition. If Gianmarco could not clear this bar, he would not be winning the crown. The crowd goes crazy as he gets prepared to jump for possibly his final jump of the night. He clears the bar dramatically, now taking the lead in this competition, and the crowd is hyped up. He's even rewarded with a clap from his competitor, Javon Harrison. This jump put Javon Harrison in the mode that now he really has to show out to compete with this Olympic champion. Can Javon do it? Gian Marco gets the crowd all hyped up, cheering and clapping for Javon to now attempt his next jump. The encouraging nature between these two competitors makes it so worthwhile to watch. Javon starts getting mentally prepared to clear this next jump. With his sheer talent and motivation to be competing with the champion, Javon runs and he clears his next bar as well. The crowd goes crazy. Gian Marco is even clapping, encouraging the competition and supporting the nature of the competition even more between the two. Javon is of course proud and happy that he just killed this jump as well. However, both gentlemen don't manage to clear their final raised bars. Gian Marco ultimately jumped the higher jump and won his crown as king of this Diamond League Championship. But there is no doubt in mind that Javon didn't come to compete. Also in mind that he was running the show for a high jump before Gian Marco came in and ultimately cleared that bar. A congrats to the Italian high jumper holding up his records. And don't anybody put Javon Harrison out of your minds. This young man has a lot more to come in his future seasons, and I can't wait to witness this young competitor in the following seasons to come.